The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction is without question one of the best Hulk games I've played like ever. This game has amazing gameplay, the story was nicely done, and the voice acting is superb. If you somehow miss out on this great game from the mid-2000s, check it out because it is well worth your time. I have to say, Radical Entertainment knew what they were doing when they made this game over 15 years ago. I have to say, this game is amazing. It stars the Hulk, obviously, in open world environment, and he engaged in missions, sort of like GTA. When you're not doing main missions, you go around, destroy buildings and stuff. It's pretty cool. Even for a 2005 game, that was impressive for its time. Now, back then, I didn't think an open world Hulk game could work, but it did. The writing is simply done nicely for a script with this game. The gameplay is just great. Hulk can turn many objects in this game into weapons. He can create fists made from cars. He can throw missiles back at enemies. He can even, like, do a skateboard style with a car. And that's just the only beginning of Hulk's abilities. Seriously though, this game is loved by a lot of people. I've talked to people over the years, they enjoyed this game. When I first played this game back then, I was impressed. I had a lot of fun with this game. And this is still a game that I would recommend to people today. Especially if you're a Hulk fan. Before this game came out, we had other Hulk games that weren't that great. They were alright, but... This game right here is the pinnacle of what Hulk game should be. No Bruce Banner, just straight up Hulk gameplay, and this game does a fine job of that. The main story of this video game is that Bruce Banner is trying to find a cure for the Hulk because his alter dark side, the Devil Hulk, is trying to emerge, and so he's trying to get rid of it. Throughout the game, Bruce Banner faced enemies such as the Abomination, Mercy, and a few other enemies, as well as Thunderbolt Ross, and it leads to some very great boss battles. I mean, the infight between Hulk and the Abomination is done real well. This is a video game that is beloved by a lot of people, and the voice cast is done greatly, such as Ron Perlman, who voices Emil Blonsky, Neil Madonna, who voices Bruce Banner, it did a great job. If this game didn't have a awesome voice cast, then that area of this game would suck, but the music and the voice cast just simply amazing. Seriously though, this video game of the Hulk is the best there is, and no other Hulk game has came close since this game came out. I'm giving this video game a 9 out of 10. I had a amazing time playing this game back then when it was out. There is some um, great gameplay in this video game. And the story of Bruce Banner and Game of the Hulk, we've seen that before, but in this, when you play Hulk all the time, and he has awesome moves such as the Atomic Slam and Critical Thunderclap, it makes for some great gameplay. Seriously, check this video game out if you never played it. Because it is a worthy Hulk game. There is no Bruce Banner, obviously, like I mentioned before. It's just straight up Hulk smashing. And that's all that a lot of people want in a Hulk video game. Now, seriously, there is a downside. Going around, you know, destroying things, get repetitive and boring after a while. So, it's a good thing the story it is good as what it turned out to be. But other than that, once you beat the main story, there's nothing else to do but to go around smashing things. But... Like I said before, it's not that appealing. And it doesn't have a whole lot of replay value, but this is certainly a impressive video game. And that's my review of the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this video game. Do you wish there was a sequel that came out to this video game? And what is your favorite Hulk video game out there? You know, while we never got an official sequel to this game, at least it was a great video game to play for the time this video game had came out. Alright, this is Slum Guy 172 saying, Peace out.